Hello everybody. It is Saturday, November the 7th, 2015. This is going to be a weekend reading for Saturday and Sunday, the 7th and the 8th of November, 2015. Uh, the moon is in Libra. Seven is a day of spirit and mind and creativity. And eight is a day of power. So, um, I'm going to use, like I've been using so far, the Chakra Insight Oracle cards and the Truth Seekers Tarot cards. So I'm going to pick, let's see if I can get my camera at a better angle. Okay, that's a little bit better. I'm going to pick three cards, one for Saturday, one for Sunday, and one for the energies of the in-between time, the overnight Saturday into early hours of Sunday. So, creator, give us one for Saturday and give us one for Sunday. And give us one to bridge the energy of the time in between. Okay, let's see, what do we have? Okay, beautiful. For Saturday, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Let's get St. Jude in on the action. <laughs> I really like St. Jude. He's been very helpful lately. Um, and for Sunday, the devil is here again, but look, the devil's in reverse. So I really like this already because, you know, it's signifying the ace is a gift from spirit. It's a new beginning and it's uh, in the earth signs and it's on the material realm. So it's a new level of health, wealth, prosperity, and material reality. And we've got the Six of Swords in reverse for the middle energies. Okay, so let's read these cards. Um, let's see, can you see those? I'm still experimenting with the setup. It's always an ongoing process in my world. Um, and half the time I'm just kind of winging it anyway. Um, so uh, for Sunday, we've got the devil, which is, 10 and 5. So the devil is 15, um, which boils down to a 6, which is that uh, state of temporary balance. And uh, Sunday is a day of power, which is an 8 day. So the real power that you have on Sunday is that you've let go of some self-imposed limitations, um, either through your thought processes or through some new healthy habit, like a new uh, eating regime, like we just came out of Virgo, which is all about food and health and nutrients. Um, you may have started an exercise program or gotten involved in a 12-step program because the devil is all about addiction and it can be addiction to alcohol or food or drugs or certain substances. It can be addictions to people or again, addictions to beliefs or emotional states that do not serve you, um, like toxic thinking, fear-based thinking, and um, toxic relationships. So whatever you started uh, on Saturday, moving into Sunday, you've been able to let go of, and the Six of Swords, um, uh, you know, it's um, swords are the, the mind, swords are mentality, and seven is a day of mind and creativity uh, combined with spirit, and I really love this sword here in the coming out of the heavens, like descending from heaven, and you can see this other sword here has crashed and burned, it's just like... And um, this looks like a piece of body armor, like a helmet um, that's been split in two. 
And you've got four swords over here and the four represents stability. So what this is really saying to me is through some new healthy habit, like let's say you joined a gym on Friday and you got up early Saturday morning and you went and did 20 minutes of cardio and you felt like more clear in your energy. You blasted out some energies that weren't serving you. You got your chakras a little more aligned and you had, look it up here, this sun peeking out from behind this tower. It's almost like a light tower. Like you, you did something healthy and it put you in a new frame of mind, a new state of mind. And over night from Saturday to Sunday, some new information came in, a new thought process, a new idea came in, something old bit the dust, and you, you're left with a sense, a new sense of stability because of that. So, um, and because this is in reverse, I don't feel like there's any negative connotation to that. I do feel that it was more of an inner process, like a dream state process or a deeper, more subconscious um, state of being that is not so apparent, but certainly it's helping you on some level to let go of unhealthy habits and the shackles that bind you and the feeling stuck and being um, a prisoner of your own emotional states because toxic thinking creates toxic emotions. So whatever new healthy habit you started it's really starting to work for you immediately. Maybe you might not see it externally yet, but it's changing your energies already. And you're on a deeper level, you're feeling better about yourself and your circumstances. And that's really beautiful. So I'm going to pick a Chakra Insight Oracle to help us explore that a little bit better. So Creator, uh, give us a Chakra Insight Oracle for the reading for Saturday and Sunday, November 7th and 8th. So this is number 45. It says intelligence, education, knowledge, perception, flexibility. And as soon as I looked at that, I felt like emotional intelligence and that you have a clearer frame of mind for some reason. And so that you're cleaner thoughts are creating a cleaner emotional state or that you're more in tune with your emotional states because you know they always say that exercise is really good for your um if you're having depression get out and take a walk you know it's really good for your physical body but it's really helpful for the mind and the spirit and the emotions and perception and flexibility i feel Let's see, get these guys moved over. Oops, actually let's do it this way. So I'm using a different candle and I don't wanna burn anything. Um, so, oh, I'm silly. Sorry about that. So the intelligence is saying perception and flexibility. That's what this six of swords I feel is. Your perception has shifted. You've been a little more flexible in your thinking and, and it had to do with a new healthy habit that you started. Um, and 45 is nine. So it's, it's the ending, it's the completion of a cycle. And the purple signifies the crown chakra, which is the higher, the higher mind. So you're out of these lower based, fear-based systems and up into a higher level of consciousness for this weekend. So congratulations and keep up the healthy habits and you're on the right track. And I really feel that whatever healthy habits you have started are really, really working for you. And please do keep up with them. Um, if you would like to book a private reading or a healing session, please email me at racincula at gmail.com. Um, I look forward to doing a reading for the next coming week. So stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching my channel. And thanks for joining me for the video. Um, please like and subscribe and I will see you soon. Okay, take care.